Calculating discounts. Well, how do you calculate discounts? When you go into a store, a lot of times you'll see signs offering various discounts on items, and these are all the percentages you might see when you walk into a store. And discounts are a percent of questions, so it involves multiplying. Now let's look at this example. So uh, an $80 coat you want is 20% off. How much will it cost? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. When you have 20% off, that means you're saving 20%. You don't have to pay 20% of the cost of the item, but you do have to pay 80% of the total cost. And we can solve these questions in either one or two step. Let's take this $80 code example. The two step method would be to find 20% of 80, and you convert 20% into a decimal. So you would be saving $16. You then take the original cost. You subtract 16. You'd pay $64 for the coat. So that's the two-step method, finding the amount of the discount and then subtracting the discount. The one-step method, since you're saving 20%, you're paying 80% of the price, of the full price. So we could just take the original price times 80% and get the same answer. It really doesn't matter. You can do it in one or two steps. So why don't we practice this? Let's say that there's an item uh, for $60 and there's a 10% discount. I'm actually going to do the two step first. So you're saving 10% of the $60. Of means multiply. We're going to convert the percent to a decimal, which is 0.1 or 0.10 times 60, and when you do that, you get 6. So we're saving $6. So that's step one. Now step two is to take the original price, which is $60, minus the $6 you're saving. So it would be $54 would be the final cost of that item. Now if you wanted to do it in one step, if you're saving 10%, that means you have to pay 90% of the full price. You're paying 90% of the $60. Of means multiply. I'm going to convert 90% into a decimal. I'm going to multiply that times $60. And we end up with 54. You'd pay $54. So either way, you're going to get the same answer. You can do it in one or two steps. Let's do a few more. Okay, we have a $32 garment, and it's 20% off. I'm actually going to do this in two steps. So you're, you're getting 20% of the price off. You don't have to pay 20% of 32. So I'm going to convert this to a decimal. and multiply it times 32. This is step one. Uh, so that would be 6.4. That means you're saving $6.40. So the original cost of the item was $32 minus the $6.40 that you're saving. So your final cost of that item after the discount would be $25.60. Okay, let's try another one. So you're buying this swimsuit for $110, but it's 40% off this week. So step one, we're going to find out what's the discount. So you do not have to pay 40% of that price. 40% of the 110, you're not paying. So of is multiply. I'm going to convert that to a decimal. And when you multiply 0.4 times 110, you end up with 440. You are saving $44. So that's our discount. So we take the original price, 110, minus $44. The final cost of that swimsuit after a 40% discount would be $66. Now this one, we have a t-shirt here for $14, and it's on sale for 5% off. Now be careful on this one. You're saving 5% of the 14. 
So of his multiply, don't put 0.5. That would be a 50% savings. 5% is 0.05 times 14. So you are saving, when you multiply those two, you're saving 70 cents. So the original cost of the item was $14 minus the discount of 70 cents. You would pay $13.30 for that t-shirt after the discount. All right, we're going to do one more example. Now, sometimes uh, you'll get a double discount on an item. So in this example, I wanted to buy a guitar. And the guitar was $300, but was on sale for 30% off. If you pay in cash, you get an extra 10% off. Now, what a lot of kids want to do is they want to add these two together and say that you get 40% off, but it doesn't work like that when you have a double discount. First thing we do is we work with this original discount. So the guitar was $300. But you don't have to pay. You you don't have to pay 30% of that price. You're getting 30% of the $300 off. So of is multiply. I'm going to convert that to a decimal. And when you multiply, you'll end up with this. That means you are saving $90. So that's actually a multi-step question. So if I take the original price, 300 and I subtract the discount of ninety dollars the guitar would pay would cost two hundred and ten dollars however if I pay in cash I'll get an extra ten percent off so I'll get an extra ten percent of I'll get ten percent of that price off an additional discount so I'll just multiply and that would mean I would get an additional $21 off. So if we take that discounted price and I subtract the additional $21 I get off for paying cash, that means the final cost of that guitar after the two discounts would be $189. So that's how you can calculate discounts. You can do it in either one or in two steps.